One option I wanted to look into concerning this wind turbine is a rope dry system, kind of like something you might see on Gilligan's Island, primitive and simple. I had an idea I shown in a different video of a right angle rope dry system I came up with. It was just a demonstration unit. And now I wanted to take that idea to see if I could put it into practice to see if it really worked for anything. I'm just working on a splice here, I call it a long splice. Over and then under. Over and under. And that noise is an old engine the neighbor's has running. It's pretty loud. And this is my tensioner. So I have a trucker's hitch in here. <sighs> Try that, I guess. I just need some wind. Well, we don't have a whole lot of wind, but I looked out the window and I seen it was starting to turn. It is working. Take a better look at it right now. That's where my splice is. It's a little hard going through this pulley here. Could probably have something here to keep that a little bit more steady. I did have to put some belt dressing in these grooves here because it was slipping a little bit. So we got two wooden pulleys here, like a grooved, and it comes back around to get more grip. And this is the pulling side. Looks like it's starting to slow down now. And this is the axle that we're turning. So we got a right angle drive and plus this axle here compared to the wind turbine is about a 10 to 1 ratio. So for every one turn that the wind turbine makes, this makes 10 turns. And this is the loose side coming off. I just, I had a pulley. So I got a couple of these that I put on there, kind of jerry-rigged it on there. And my pulleys here are just nuts and washers across here. I had more in there, but I didn't need that many. This is the splice coming around right now. It seems to be holding together pretty good. And I just got some little nail guides here to keep pushing it this way. And it, it is working. Then on this side, I got also have a few guides just to keep it in line. I didn't have anything on this side. It seems to be working all right. Pull side and loose side. It just drops off there. Like I said, not much wind right now, but it is working. <laughs> kind of cool Gillian's Island type stuff <laughs> so 
got a little block bearing there and this was just a a wheelbarrow bearing on a plate electrical plate that i drilled out i guess that's not even tight all the parts for this uh rope drive is stuff i already had this long roller that you see here that's from a roller old roller stand i had the kind that you use when you take lumber off the table saw to keep it moving and the biggest i think the biggest challenge is just making that splice in the rope so it didn't get real thick here it's coming around again Finally getting some decent weather here, I'll be able to do some more work and improvements on the wind turbine. Still gotta make some wind diverters for this thing. This is just something I wanted to try besides the right angle chain sprocket drive and my little wheel drives. And it gets hung up a little bit when that pulley hits that splice. You can see it. And uh, cranking along. There's a the splice coming around again. I'm sure the way I wish there was a way I could make that splice not so thick. See it's coming around again. So I'll show you what happens when it comes around and hits that pulley. It's hung up there a little bit. Once it gets past it, it's already, yeah, this probably isn't the most stable as part of it, this uh tensioner but when I want to take this rope drive off there I can just loosen this up and the rope will just drop down and then I can hook up something else I think you got about a 10 mile an hour wind right now I don't know if there's much power there to do anything. Ow! Something sharp on that pulley. Be careful. I don't have anything to hook up to this rope drive contraption right now. But I'm thinking it's probably not real efficient. Though if I was stranded on a desert island, it would probably be more than acceptable in that situation because it is working. Anyway, it was fun putting something like this together just to see what would happen. So thanks for taking the time to watch us. Washington, but I don't think the final ever got there.